In this episode, Achieving Night Vision with Nanocrystals and a look at John Deere's electric tractor concept. Welcome to your Manufacturing Minute. Humans are horrible at being able to see in the dark, which is why we've invented night vision goggles. But goggles can be bulky, requiring layers of lenses and power. But researchers from the Australian National University think they've found a way to solve those problems. They have developed a nanocrystal that could give a standard pair of glasses night vision powers without adding any weight. To accomplish this, the nanocrystal converts incoming photons from infrared light into other photons on the visible spectrum, allowing the human eye to see the dark without added electricity. In other words, the nanocrystals directly convert light to light, changing the color and frequency so the human eye can see. The nanocrystals could also find applications in imaging cells, anti-counterfeiting measures, or holograms. The prototype contains just a single nanoparticle, 300 nanometers wide, but an array of thousands or millions of them could create a metamaterial surface that can be applied to glasses as an ultra-thin film enabling night vision. Additionally, individual nanocrystals or segments of them could be tuned to different frequencies to capture as much light as possible. Currently, the technology requires intense light to make the conversion, but researchers hope that further work will improve its efficiency. Could these nanocrystals be a breakthrough in vision? What other vision applications could these particles be used for? Tell us what you think by leaving your comments below. This week, agriculture and construction equipment manufacturer John Deere unveiled a product it believes embodies the future of the industry. An all-electric concept tractor, dubbed the CSAM, or Sustainable Energy Supply for Agricultural Machinery Tractor, John Deere says this concept is an initial step towards a zero local emissions tractor. Essentially, the concept as it exists now is a gutted version of its JD6R model. It features a massive battery bank in the front as well as dual electric motors capable of up to 130 kilowatts of continuous power. Plus, an advantage of the dual motors is that it can be set to three modes. All drive can go to the wheels, to the power takeoff shaft, or split up between both. Right now, the tractor battery can only last for about four hours, which obviously isn't ideal. But the tractor is just a concept after all. Plus, and perhaps more importantly, it signals that more products designed for zero emissions farming could be on the horizon. What do you think about John Deere's all electric tractor concept? Can you see this technology playing a larger role within farming in general? Tweet me your thoughts at MNET News or comment in the section below. That's all the time we have for today, but tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for your next Manufacturing Minute.